What's going on guys, my name is Steve from the Checkpoint, the gaming channel that has been offering you three straight days of MLG X Games coverage and today we're going to be talking about Championship Sunday. Yes, yesterday was an amazing day, just the icing on the cake after the great tournament that we've had and yeah, let's get right into it with some players that I noticed, the atmosphere of the games and the overall pace of the uh, of the games we saw. So let's get straight into it. Every match will be detailed, plus I will be naming my three most valuable players at the end of this video. Let's get straight into it. So, Team NV versus Team Caliber. Uh, an amazing display on offense from TK. Apathy was very impressive to me, not just now, but through the, throughout this whole tournament. He's been one of the players that really stood out to me. Uh, round one ends with a 68 point lead for Caliber. Uh, Envy just looked very disoriented. I don't know what it was about Envy this tournament, but they just seemed very very off. Something was wrong with them. Something wasn't quite clicking. And uh, Study picks up round two, getting behind enemy lines, playing sneakily, making some huge plays. And Envy did play much better than the first round, but Caliber took the victory with some just great defensive play. They were very um, smart in when to make an attack, when not to make an attack. Slow start in SND from TK, pick up the aggression over time, nice defensive plays, cutting off important parts of the map. Now, TK is not known for SND prowess, and Envy are known for being one of the best at the game mode. However, TK came back and took the SND, which is very surprising. Just TK really surprised me overall this tournament. After a poor league performance, you know, they have a reputation for not ve being very good at uh, the league, uh, taking a back seat to the teams like Optic and Evil Geniuses and Envy, but uh, they really stepped up at the X Games, and that's why they took the series 3 to 1. It was just. I don't know, something seemed off with Envy and TK capitalised on that, so props to them because they really impressed me this tournament. Okay, Optic Gaming versus Evil Geniuses, huge matchup, we've seen OG take on EG before, but it's never ended well for Optic. Uh, Evil Geniuses have been champions for about a year and a half now, something like that, and at the previous tournament, which I think was COD Champs, there was some struggling from Optic Gaming after they were a newly assembled team of Nade, Scump, Clayster and Proofy joining the team so it was like, you know, it was like they haven't found the bearings yet, they weren't used to playing with each other so uh, let's get straight into it, the SND, uh, no sorry not the SND, the Domination, Scumpy really uh, didn't step up here and I believe it was something to do with one of his contact lenses, I think one of them had fallen out and Clayster had to kind of pick up not pick up his contact lens, like pick up where he uh, left off, so it wasn't close to play in his most comfortable position, certainly wasn't uh, up to Scumby's full potential, so that's why they uh, got taken down by Evil Geniuses in Game 1 Domination, however, um, Evil Geniuses are very good at Domination, so EG headed into S&D 1-up, however, Optic's communication was truly on point, and at this point I'd normally say a Clayster played really well, or Scump played really well out there, but no, Every single member of Optic looked phenomenal, especially Proofy. Yes, the moment everyone's been talking about, Proofy, four piece, the world champion, single handedly taking the victory for Optic Gaming in this incredible matchup. It was one of the most impressive players I've ever seen. It was just kill after kill after kill, and he just built off momentum. It was like he was powering up or something. He just went, I don't know, he just went off, and that's why uh, I believe Proofy is one of the most important additions to this Optic Gaming lineup in recent years uh, after Clayster as well. So, uh, let's see, building a momentum, Optic took the blitz through sheer organisation. There were some phenomenal players from Nadeshot. Now, Nadeshot really stepped up this tournament. People seem to think that because of his popularity he'd be the weak link and you know Optic just wouldn't drop him because he was so popular but he really stepped up and after all this talk about him retiring potentially after uh, after Gurse, I really wouldn't want to see it happen because Optic Gaming were a force to be reckoned with this tournament. They took the strike zone domination in a close and hectic lineup. a lot of aggressive players and slaying power took down the world champions. Optic finally did it, finally dethroned evil geniuses or complexity as they were once known in a 3 to 1 series. Amazing, I loved that series so much. Sir. Team Envy versus Evil Geniuses. Man, Envy just can't seem to get away from Evil Geniuses no matter what they do. But it was uh, the bronze medal matchup. It's important to note that Envy have never taken a map from Evil Geniuses or Complexity as they were known prior to this invitational. And at the end of the 172 to 130 domination, EG just had complete map control and it was just a massacre in the middle. All four members of, M of EG sorry, really stepped up after a deflating loss to Optic. Envy refound their fire as they won the search and destroy matchup 6 and 2, uh, showing why they are one of the best teams at the game mode. Their organisation was great, their strategy was great, just an overall impressive performance from EG, uh, from Envy, sorry, after the uh, 
after their loss to Team Calibre. So EG took the Blitz 8 and 4 after a disorganised Envy slipped up again. Something's just been off about Envy this tournament. Lots of players not stepping up, especially Parasite I noticed. However, they surprisingly took the domination on Strike Zone, which I was not expecting after some impressive slaying power in mid-map, which in itself is difficult against the opposition of Crim6, AX, TP and Kana, all being formidable slayers themselves. We had a game 5 on our hands, SND on Sovereign, and, then, and EG just seemed to be one step ahead of Envy again. Winning one on one gunfights, playing very smartly with some flanks from AX Committee, as well as some phenomenal plays from Krim as per usual, and with a nasty final kill from TP against Parasite, EG took the bronze medal home with a 6 2 victory, making the series 3 2. Sir, so, gold medal final Optic Gaming vs Team Calibre. This was it, the two, game, uh, the two teams that had probably surprised me the most this tournament on the grand stage. Optic came into this, for me anyway, looking very strong on the curtails of dethroning the world champions. But TK had also beaten EG this tournament, as well as beating Envy. So, the first domination was very close for the most part, some impressive players from both teams. However, TK began to pull away late into the second round, some phenomenal slaying in middle map gave them victory on freight domination. SD has never been TK's strong point, and this match was no different. All four members of OG pulled out some impressive plays. Scumpy clutched round one, neared, uh, acing the team round two. That was a very impressive ace. Took down two players, knifed the other. Very nice triple kill. Moving on, takes out Apathy for the final kill, acing the team. Just some amazing tactics from OG in this SD. Taking it from TK and showing why SD is their game mode. Now, the Blitz went very well for Optic, taking a lead early on through some sneaky players from Nerd and company. During the listenings, you could really hear the communication between Optic and how effective the callouts were coming from the team. However, the communication on Calibre's end was just disjointed and simply not on point. And I truly believe that's why Optic pulled away, taking the Blitz 7-3 and three, and the series was then 2-1, and one, heading into TK's strong, strongest game mode of domination. TK took it 157 to 147 after a close matchup. Both teams trading back and forth using their slaying power and objective place to their advantage. So, this was it. Optic's arguably best game mode was TK's weakest SD. However, that didn't stop it from being one of the most intense games I have ever seen. Optic are known for choking at big tournaments like this, but this time everything depended on whether or not their SD game was on point. Optic began to pull away with some very strategic players coming from the team, taking the fight to the war room, to research labs, to the, to the catwalks. It was just one unexpected play after another through OG. However, at 5-3 up, Skump was turned on by Nezla, bringing the game to a close 5 and 4 situation, with Optic only needed one more match to secure the gold medal. Intense final game, it was left to Proofy and Clayster to finish off Goonjar. Goon swiftly took out Proofy, but was not expecting Clear wielding the Bulldog shotgun in War Room, as Optic Gaming took the series 3-2 and become the first ever team in over a year and a half to dethrone Evil Geniuses, and were the first ever team to win a gold medal at the X Games. Amazing matches, amazing tournament. So, my most valuable players of the tournament. At number 3 I'm going to give it to Sharp. Sharp displayed some impressive players not just on one day of the Invitational but through the whole thing. His team and him definitely caught me off guard due to uh, TK's league reputation. I've never really watched Sharp before as well even though he is one of the most uh, you know, longest running players in the game since Call of Duty 2 he's been playing but nonetheless some great players coming out of him. Number two has to go to my boy Proofy, really stepped it up after finding his bearings at champs and just meshing completely with K, at K, Clay, Skump and Nade, making one of the best players I've ever seen with that four piece against EG to dethrone them and that's why he's up there at number two for me. However, number one has to go to Nade shot for me. He really stepped up this tournament, he was the backbone the Optic squad needed, his blitz game really impressed me and he had some incredible power, uh, power in the most important gunfights of the game, knowing when to step up. This was very important for him and he stepped up. A lot of people think he should be dropped for, uh, you know, I think that's just based on his popularity thing, people think like Optic won't drop him when he does poorly at a tournament because he's so popular, he brings them so much money, but he's a good player and that's why he's number one. So there we have it, the X Games MLG Invitational done. Thank you for sticking around for the full video, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like and or a comment. We'd really appreciate it. Congratulations to Optic Gaming on winning the first MLG X Games Gold, and as always, this has been Steve, and I'll see you in the next video.